Publishing, The Three Paths. You have options. As you know, Amy and I are both hybrid authors, having been traditionally published, published by small presses, and self-published. By no means does this make us authorities, but we want you to know that you also have options. Traditional publishing. Encompassing the big five or six, depending on who you're talking to, these legacy publishers include companies you've probably heard of. Penguin Random House, Hatchet, HarperCollins, Macmillan, Simon & Schuster, plus their imprints, a trade name or brand, usually with a specific focus, under the umbrella publisher. Amazon Publishing. Amazon Publishing, separate from KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing, is also establishing itself strongly in the traditional market. Their model is slightly different and is gaining traction. Agents are the gatekeepers. With the rare exception, in order to be published traditionally, a writer goes through a literary agent who works as an intermediary between their client and the editors at the publishing house. Traditional publishing has been the leader in the industry and shaped both the nonfiction and fiction world for decades, as well as dominating the physical book space. This has changed in recent years with the rise of self-publishing. Small press. These operate with a similar structure to traditional publishing and could very well be under the umbrella of traditional publishers, but they operate on a smaller scale and are often boutique in nature. Typically, they offer smaller advances and have less reach than the big five or six. Their books aren't guaranteed to be in bookstores, but there are exceptions. Some small presses require an agent for submission and some do not. Depending on your book and the press, you can very well find success going this route. Self-publishing, also called indie publishing. We talk extensively about self-publishing in this course, but to recap, write a book, edit, format, create a cover, then using one of several book publishing platforms, set it up to be published through them. All self-publishing hosts have different royalty plans and advantages to using their service. As a self-published author, you create your own publishing schedule and have direct influence over all aspects of the process. Basically, you DIY it or hire someone to help you. And with the exception of those expenses, you keep all the money from your royalties. Instead of receiving the support of an editorial and marketing team, packaging and promotion is the author's responsibility, but you also have the support of the thriving indie writer and reader community. Publishing tips. Do your research. The internet is a perfect place to look, as well as testimonials from other authors. Look at the publisher's previously released work and roster of authors. How closely do they work with you during the editing process? How do comparable books do sales-wise? What is their marketing plan? Publishing tips continued. Always have a legal professional examine your contract before signing. No one should ever ask for any form of compensation to publish your book. Absolutely no legitimate publisher in the world will have you pay them to publish your book. If you encounter a publisher like this, run away.